Hi, this is Phil from Teach Blend, and today we're going to look at Microsoft Teams and how we can set up meetings and remote teaching and learning activities using the Meet feature. So this essentially means that you can do remote lessons that you can share your presentation with and allow students to interact. We'll look at some top tips as well for students so that you can prevent students from taking over your screen and just some good practice when you are using this. I hope it helps. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up Microsoft Teams into my test class and create a drop-in slash automatic lesson. So here I'm just going to click on the Meet Now and this will create a drop-in slash lesson straight away in that team, so without scheduling one. So this is great if the students know when your lesson is going to take place or you've told them when a drop-in is. You can straight away turn your camera off, mute, share your screen and you can share your desktop your window and even the PowerPoints. You can also share your whiteboard and any additional features you have installed in Teams. I'm just going to take share off now so that you can see me. In more actions, this is where you can start to integrate more features in your video such as blurring your background, which is essential if you're teaching online. You can also take this off, turn on live captions, which is great for students, and also create a recording of the presentation. The next thing you can do is also show conversation, and this is useful to get the students or people in your team to write their questions in so you can respond. It really stops interruption of the lesson slash PowerPoint if you've got a lot of people. You can also show members, and I'm just going to hang that up now so that you can go back to the normal team. Another way of doing this is scheduling a lesson slash meeting. And this way, you'll alert the students or whoever's attending the lesson of what time it will be. So I'm just going to put test lesson in here. A quick note is you don't need to add the required attendees because if you do this in the team channel, everyone in that team channel will be invited. You can then give some details of the meeting slash lesson as well. When you send that, this will invite the students and it will tell them the time that the lesson has been created for. The real top tip is go back and into the settings and click in meeting options. This will allow you to stop the students from presenting within the meeting and disrupting it. So go into who can present and change this to only me. This is really useful. It stops the students interrupting and sharing their presentation and requesting access. Then go back in and then you can join the meeting or, or close it off. That way, the meeting will be just for you to present to the students. It's a real easy way of getting around that problem. I'm going to show you now how you can invite students or external members to a team that might not potentially have Microsoft Teams installed or part of a channel. So create a new meeting and then add your title. But in the required attendees, that is where you're going to be writing in that person. So I'm just going to write in, say, for example, my personal email address um, in, into there. Just fill it EdTech if you need to contact me for any help, you're more than welcome to. And then what you can do is you can click send, put your title in, obviously. Um, and this is real useful way of meeting outside of channels. So it's a, it's a top tip. And as you can see there, it's joined. So if you have external teachers or external lessons or external people you want to have a meeting with, that's how you would create one. Another thing I get asked a lot is a joinable link to a meeting without adding everyone's email addresses in. So this is useful if you're going to send like an all staff email address with just a joinable link to it. So here, what you're going to do is you're just going to create a test lesson. And as you can see, that's just created a calendar invite. But if you go in here and you go optional and you just add yourself into that as an, an optional person to join the meeting, but leave channels open and a required attendees open, so don't fill those in, what it will do is it'll create a meeting within Teams. So as you can see, look, it's created this test lesson. I'm going to click that now. And in the bottom there, you will have a join Microsoft Teams meeting link. You can copy this link and then you can put that on an all staff email or put it into a group or whatever chat medium you want. And that saves you from having to write individual email addresses in. So people coming from Google Meet might find this useful. I hope you found this little video useful. Please make sure you like and subscribe to Teach Blend and follow me on Twitter at Philip EdTech.